Brooches have always been a part of a woman's accessory. We've always seen images of Queen Elizabeth wearing the brooches and also um, by Princess Diana. I think even though Queen Elizabeth is wearing the real McCoy with diamonds and precious stones, but Princess Diana has always been very innovative and modern in her use of brooches. Sometimes she uses the real sapphire brooch and alternate it as a choker or she uses uh, for example costume jewelry she's been known to shop a lot in Butler and Wilson you can see her here wearing the snake brooch on her very very modern ensemble and also you can see her wearing a star brooch on her hair as a hair accessory when she is pairing it with the real sapphire parole given to her by one of the Saudi royal families. But when it comes to brooches, one of the most famous owners of brooches is Madeleine Albright, the former Secretary of State for the US. She is known to own over 200 brooches and, and I still remember when I was watching her on the international stage during her tenure as the Secretary of State. On good days I'd wear flowers and balloons and butterflies and on bad days I would wear spiders and bugs. She's even wrote a book about it and her brooches has been exhibited in a museum in New York. There are more than 300 in her collection. The most expensive this eagle she bought herself when she was named Secretary of State. Costume jewelry, some of which I bought for ten dollars or you know really inexpensive. Her message to Yasser Arafat, beware because we were doing a little bit of stinging uh, along the way. He later gave her this butterfly. <laughs> I, th so I float think like a butterfly, it. sting like Something a bee. Like that. Right. One from New Orleans, she says, is too precious to wear. A young man came up to me with a box and he said, my mother died as a result of Katrina. My father had uh, given her this pin for their 50th wedding anniversary and we think that she would want you to have it. So, so I think that's such a wonderful, wonderful way of um, celebrating her feminine side and also that is exactly what I term your signature style. So when we talk about Madeleine Albright, you not only remember her as a former Secretary of State and a formidable one as well, but also with her outstanding collection of brooches. So let's get on with it if you see the first brooch that i am showcasing it's actually a faux pearl brooch i seldom wear this now because this is a faux brooch and i have um, started to collect more genuine pearls and semi-precious stones for my brooch collection but in this video i'm going to be showcasing a few different interesting brooches uh, from costume to uh, semi-precious so I'll start with this one because I noticed that Duchess Kate as well has been wearing this sort of a cluster uh, pearl brooch and when I saw that I was thinking wow that rings a bell and that's why I decided I'm going to be starting with this video with this cluster brooch as you can see I'm wearing a simple cut off-white color it's a beige color simply cut very elegant so I thought it would be the perfect backdrop for this uh, pearl cluster brooch. When I think about brooches, I always remember Queen Elizabeth wearing them and I love to see her wearing all her different types of brooches, especially her ribbon brooches and her uh, brooches that is in the shape of a flower. I think it's so romantic that the late Prince Philip gave it to her as an engagement brooch. And if you look at this image of three generations of the royal ladies wearing the same maple leaf brooch, I think it is such a powerful, powerful image. This is exactly why even um, auctioneers such as Sotheby's or Christie's are known to say that alum jewelry is a step above any kind of jewelry because it goes back through the generations in your family and what a wonderful wonderful way and what a wonderful statement to wear knowing that your grandmother and great grandmother has worn it previously prior to you the fact that they've also passed it on down to you says a lot about their faith in you so sometimes royal ladies when they go on a tour of a, of a 
certain country they will actually wear the colors of the country and she also wore the brooch that is in the shape of a maple leaf so that's one uh, trivia that in case you didn't notice that royal ladies tend to do in this video i'm going to be showcasing different types of brooches and how you can wear it because i know that a lot of people they like to collect brooches but they don't really know how to style it brooches have also been favored by movie stars and you can see elizabeth taylor wearing her brooches and for the modern set you see stars such as blake lively and sarah jessica parker wearing their brooches as well as in the movie you can see sarah jessica parker wearing that lovely lovely leaf brooch and the beautiful curve of the bodice of the wedding dress is made much more significant by the placement of that beautiful leaf brooch and also you can see at the same time that Miranda is also wearing a brooch in her hair it is a blue flowered uh, brooch in her hair and you can see Blake Lively wearing that beetle which is also being worn by Madeleine Albright and also by Queen Maxima of the Netherlands obviously nobody does glamour more than Dita Von Teese. whenever I mention her name you can be sure that she will up the ante to another level of glam you can see her rocking that flamboyant over the top flower brooch and also in this other picture you can see her looking like an exotic hothouse flower with that huge brooch on her hand um, which she used like a corsage so she always always makes the fashion statement even much more glamorous than what it is you can see queen letizia is sporting that huge pearl drop brooch which also is almost similar to the one that queen elizabeth has as well so i would say that actually queen elizabeth is the one who is a trendsetter in brooches because when you see all these ladies they would have grown up watching her and they would have reinterpreted for their times especially when you see a beautiful piece of brooch it's like wearing a piece of art on yourself and immediately when you put it on on your outfit sometimes it really really makes you smile throughout the whole day when you look at such a beautiful piece that you're wearing that only a brooch can do if you look at the article from town and country as well as the New York Times from May 2021 you will see that brooches are coming back into fashion and on trend and when we talk about brooches it doesn't have to be the typical flower brooch it can be whimsical as well as you can see there are men also sporting brooches they still pull off brooches looking very very masculine and they look so extremely well dressed they really really can pull it out so that's what fashion is all about so when we talk about whimsical brooches you can see lady gaga meeting with president joe biden and she is wearing that gilded schiaparelli bird of peace uh, the dove is meant to always resemble a bird of peace a bird of promise so you can also see here different different ways that you can wear brooches in a modern way you can actually layer it on on jackets wear as many as you can but you have to be very very selective in homage to the whimsical brooches i'm taking out the oldest brooch that i have in my collection this goes back to the days that i was working in singapore so this one is very very precious to me it's in the shape of a teddy bear unfortunately most of the brooches from that era i've already given it away i've kept it um, it would have been a vintage brooch by today's matte gold was very very famous from the 80s right up to the 90s especially from brands such as Anne Klein, Trifari and they were of such good quality if you can see this brooch is very very chunky it's very very 3d you can see the tummy protruding out you can see the ears you can see the eyes and also even that cute little bow tie that he is wearing looking so spiffy and so so adorable so in this case because it's such a chunky brooch i've 
purposely chosen this very very sleek and streamlined Dior dress this is one of the very very few branded dresses that I have I only buy them on occasions when they are on sale because I want the brooch to be the star of the show I'm not wearing any necklace together with this because the neckline itself is already very narrow and I'm just wearing my double strand pearl bracelet and my very very huge almost 14 mm pearl star earrings so that I can have that little pop of white color as you can see if I were not wearing the pearl stars it would look very very plain so if you have that white pop of color it coordinates together with the white in the outfit as well as the bracelet and then the eye is drawn immediately to that single gold brooch on the dress i've chosen this dress purposefully because it's got gold buttons on the bodies of the dress so that it would match with the brooch perfectly so this is one way that you can wear your whimsical brooches and still look very professional you can wear this ensemble to the office it looks very very corporate and then you can even bring it over to the evening it's very very versatile I have also brought out my dragonfly brooch. This is in a very interesting chartreuse and citrine color with some diamante on it. In the beginning, when I started collecting brooches, I preferred smaller delicate pieces. And now, um, as my taste has evolved, I prefer very, very flamboyant statement pieces. Also, if you look at it carefully, it's faceted because it's faceted. So when the light hits it, you will see a lot, a lot more bling. And I have chosen to wear it with this Chloe top. Um, I love this because it's in a coral color and then you can see the lace details on it. So because the bodice of the dress is already so intricate and so outstanding in its own way, I'm not wearing any other accessories except for my ruby bracelet and to complement the color of the red on the bodice so that the dragonfly brooch can stand out. So this is one way that you can wear your brooches in a contrasting color. I wore this outfit for one of my previous videos on colors that is used by royal ladies. If you've missed that, I'm going to be linking it towards the end of the video and up above. So for this one, because it's a very, very light green color and I have chosen this because I want to showcase this beautiful, beautiful, soft enamel brooch. So when we're talking about the enamel brooch, that is uh, more into the 1990s enamel brooches have been around for quite some time but for this one i really really like it because the floral petals is really really high you see it from the side it's really really 3d and it's very very thick and the enamel color of the pink is also mixed together with white so that you have that lacing effect and the petals are green in color so I've chosen this very very light green color to showcase this brooch and I've uh, just put on my pearl studs because there are some pearls interspersed in the brooch as well and my pink ribbon on my hair. That's all very very simple, very very classic and my double strand pearl bracelet. For this next brooch, I've purposely put on this blush pink blouse so that the color of the black onyx can pop against the blouse and because the star of the show in the brooch is in a very light pink uh, mother of pearl flower that is placed so delicately on this brooch i think the blush pink color of this blouse really really complements the brooch and i also love the cashew pearls that is interspersed on the brooch it is in a dark gray color and that's exactly why i've changed my earrings to a drop gray pearl earrings as well and it's got some baby pearls also on the brooch this is an artisanal piece that i got from korea and every time i wear it i really really feel so humbled that i own this piece especially when i think of all the thought and work that went into this piece of brooch so i hope that you're enjoying this video if you are please do consider taking a moment to click on the subscribe button so that you can join my youtube family and help me to grow my channel i've had it i think 
uh, nearly seven years now and I keep it really well. I keep it separately in a sachet and then I put it in the jewelry box so that no dust will come into the crevices. I think uh, care of your brooches is also very important. You tend to collect dust around the crevices and it will not look beautiful if it's looking dirty. So I think care of your accessories is also a very important point and I keep it away from the sun. I don't understand people who put brooches on a frame. No matter how well you take care of it, the sun will actually diminish the color. So I think that's a uh, main thing that I want to point out as well, that you not only collect beautiful brooches, but you should know how to care for them so that they will last and be in a pristine condition for you to enjoy. When you're wearing black and white, it looks really, really smart. It's uh, the classic combination. It looks lovely, but it can look a little bit stuck. So this is where you need help like this brooch we've been through the 80s brooch with the teddy bear with the matte gold and then we went to the enamel and rhinestone brooch and when we come to more modern brooches they are also made up of lighter material so that it's very very easy to put on and it's not so weighty immediately when you put it on you can see that it puts a little bit more of a whimsy to your outfit because when you're wearing black and white yes it looks really really smart but then it, you come across as looking very very harsh and very very stark so you need something feminine like this to soften the look i love the piping details on this jacket very Chanel inspired with the piping on the pockets as well as the bow detail on the sleeve of the jacket so this is one of my favorite jackets and this is one way that you can dress it up and make it more fun more whimsical and still look very very smart and I think that's what brooches are all about bringing a touch of whimsy and having that statement accessories already got the black with the hounds too with the uh, quintessential camellia with the hat and the jacket details on it i didn't wear any necklace at all i just wore my studs i'm also playing with the contrast of colors so it really really complements the outfit i hope this inspires you to look at brooches in a more fun whimsical way and realize that it's another way that you can uh, make a statement with your whole fashion outlook if you love accessories i've also done videos on headbands that's also another trend for 2021 as well as pearls i will be linking it towards the end of the video so be sure to check that out i hope that you all keep well and i will see you again in my next video goodbye